the relationships and history here at St. Lawrence is unlike any other university from an NHL and hockey perspective. As a player and a student athlete here, you come to love Appleton for everything that it was and is. There was no indoor rink or facility like it. I chased down St. Lawrence and I wanted to come here. This is a place that we call home and we want to continue to call it home for a long, long time. This is who we are. That to me is really what the fabric of St. Lawrence Hockey is about, what makes it so special. Mike, what's HOK? HOK is a global firm that focuses on architecture and engineering. Can you take us through some of the more memorable projects you've had in the National Hockey League in particular? The most recent have been the Edmonton Oilers Rogers Place Arena and the Red Wings and Pistons Little Caesars Arena in Detroit. So you're here at beautiful Appleton Arena, historic building, especially here in the North Country. What have you heard from the people at St. Lawrence that's going to make your company even better when it comes to retrofitting this magnificent building? I think the intimacy and the warmth is pretty unique. The wood seating bowl and glue lamb barrel vault, there's not anything like it. What will you focus in on the initial part of the project? Trying to maintain the character in the additions that we're putting together. So lighting's going to be different? Yes, the infrastructure for the arena, some of the HVAC systems and things like that, the building will perform a little bit better, breathing new life into the building and giving it an extended lifetime for generations to come, hopefully. One of the things that I thought was really cool when I was looking at the project on paper was what you're gonna do with the facade in front of the building. Can you walk us through your ideology with that? Sure, with the addition, we're able to not only sort of insulate the arena, but add a Hall of Fame component, a retail component, and a hospitality area that's not currently here. I coached here, I love coaching here. One of the things I love the most about this building, the seats. The seats are spectacular, the wood pine seats are awesome. You're not touching those, are We're you? We're not touching those. Good. It's part of the building I think that's really important to us and appealed to us because, again, the warmth and sort of intimacy of the building itself. Now another part of the project is what you're going to do with the dressing rooms and with the weight room. Can you walk us through those parts of the project? Sure, quite a few amenities are being added and expanded upon for the athletes and coaching staff from the training facility as well as the dressing rooms and the treatment spaces as well. We've done a lot of benchmarking with other Division I schools and tripling the size of the strength and conditioning space is important to that. The work that's done off the ice by these athletes and recruiting those athletes is paramount to the success of the program. How long does a project like this take? Construction for a project like this is about a year to 18 months. So it sounds like you're going to do it in phases. What could fans look forward to seeing at the start of next season? Opening up the concessions and concourses to the seating bowl and improving that food and beverage experience, as well as the Hall of Fame and retail component. Those are all considered to be part of phase one. On the Division I hockey team, both men and women will get new facilities as part of that expansion. 